Hello everyone, today I want to take you along with me as I plant our spring vegetables for this gardening season. I have my garden planner right here and I have the plan for our spring vegetable garden in here. I did a whole video on how I plan my vegetable garden and in here I have all the things that I'm going to be planting and it kind of gives me an idea of um, how much I want to plant of each of these vegetables. I don't think I'm going to be able to plant all of them, so I'm going to focus on the ones that require a long time to grow, like cabbage, Brussels sprouts, these things. Right now we are in March 20th and we still have snow on the ground and I believe it's supposed to snow this week. So I'm going to be uh, using the winter sowing method that I showed you in um, several videos ago. This is a new method I'm trying this year and it is the tub method and I'll link that video in the description box below. And the reason why I'm doing this is because we still have cold temperatures and I don't have enough space in my basement. I am going to be putting a new light system in the basement but I don't want to uh, have to harden these seedlings because all of the seedlings that I'm going to be planting today are cold tolerant. And I don't want to have to uh, kind of uh, deal with the weather and one day they're out and then the next day I have to keep them in because it's too cold or whatever. So my thoughts is if I do the winter sowing method, then they will grow when they are ready to grow and they're go going to grow a lot faster than if I just directly sowed them in the ground uh, because of the, the soil temperature and because of the weather kind of the snow and all that stuff. In a um, in the winter sowing method, they're going to be protected somewhat from the snow, especially with the technique that I'm using, and they're going to receive the water that they need. I do have to check on them every now and then to see if they are dry to make sure that they're not going to dry out, otherwise they will die. Uh, and I don't have to do that that often because we do get a lot of snow and rain over here. so. Uh, that's not so much of a worry for me. But this saves me a lot on time and also a lot on uh, the effort of hardening the seedlings, taking them in and out. It's just a lot to do and I already have a lot of seedlings that I'm going to have to harden because they are warm weather uh, seedlings. So I want to avoid that for the cold weather seedlings. Now in previous years uh, what I did is I would direct sow everything but this would make my uh, spring season really not that effective because I wouldn't get a lot of the stuff that I want to get early in the spring. By doing this, I'm extending the season and just gaining some more time and have my vegetables to have at least a little bit of growth on them rather than just being a seed in the ground. Especially like lettuce, for example, and spinach. These bolt very quickly for us because our springs are very short. Right now, really we are sort of in the winter still even though spring is very is spring today I think so spring is <laughs> spring starts today I believe I don't know spring is super short for us we are only having a couple warm days this week and then the next days we are going to have snow and it's just it's extends until like the end of April Last year we actually had a very cold early summer. We did have a long spring because of that, but it, that delayed our warm weather plants. So let me show you what I'm going to be planting. Then we'll decide what is going to be planted in this winter sowing method and what is going to be direct sown. I'm guessing that a lot of the herbs uh, are not going to be direct sown except for one of them and that is cilantro because cilantro bolts very quickly it doesn't like the heat at all so if we end up with any sort of heat it's just going to bolt and I don't want that to happen because we go from really cold weather like cold spring weather to hot weather which is in the 80s and 90s very quickly and just one day it would be that way so that's why I want to start the cilantro in this winter sewing method. And I'm jumping ahead of myself over here, but let me show you wh what I have. So these are the seeds over here. I got these here because these are my all my spring seeds that I'm going to be planting in the garden. And I took these out of them over here. And uh, one that I forgot about, which is the cilantro, which was in my herbs uh, bin. So we're gonna put these aside 
and this one has to be put away properly. <laughs> so I have the uh, Bright Lights Swiss chart and that is uh, from Johnny Seeds. I bought it I believe in 2020 I think I got this one and I have the Ducat Dill from My Gardener. So yeah and Miner's Lettuce, Baker Creek. I don't have to say all the companies, you can kind of tell which company it is. Uh, May Queen Lettuce, I love this lettuce. It has uh, kind of like a buttery texture, buttery texture similar to the uh, Butterhead Lettuce, I think, is that what it's called? But I feel like the flavor with, of this one is a lot nicer than the Butterhead Lettuce. And then I have also some Romaine Lettuce from Emma Gardner and Russian red kale, dwarf Siberian kale, Japanese flowering kale. Sorry, I'm not bringing the pictures up close to you. And I have the early Jersey, early Jersey Wakefield cabbage, Viola Gio di Verona. I don't know how to pronounce this, but this cabbage over here is beautiful. Hi, sweetie. And red ex oops, red express cabbage. Oops. Can I? Premium late flat Dutch cabbage. Can I, Mama? Can I help you? Yes. Brunswick cabbage. You can see I have a lot of cabbage. I want to try all these different varieties. I want to. Cilantro. These are seeds. Mama, that are I want to. Okay, sweetie. Okay. These are seeds that I saved from our 2017 garden. Brussels sprouts. Noble Giant spinach. This is from Heaven's Harvest. Benny Hushi Mizuna. Uh, this is the first time I try this. I bought the seeds last year, I think, but I haven't tried them yet. Last year or the year before? I think it was the year before. Um, and hold on, baby. Some arugula. I love arugula and parsley, and we got some more Merlot Nero spinach. I believe this is supposed to be, oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. that's not what you do, Laura. Hold on. Um, I believe this is supposed to be slow bolting. We'll see. And some Chinese yellow cabbage. We don't want the seeds to fall because these are open, okay? We hold it with this flap. See this flap right here? Mm -hmm. To hold it with this flap up like that so that the seeds don't like fall. That? Let me give you one that's closed so that you don't lose the seeds, okay? Yeah. I'm not gonna lose the seeds. All right, now we have to fill this, this, the containers with. I see the seeds. All right, hold on. Let me show them this stuff, all right? Let me show you the seeds. No, 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 no. Let me show you the seeds. What? Open it. No, we're not going to take the seeds out yet, okay? When yeah. it's time to plant, then we'll take them out. Oh. Let's put them at the table right now. What's this one? Red Express cabbage. Red Express cabbage. This is what we need. Miner's lettuce. Miner's lettuce. See that? Winter choy. Winter choy. Winter choy. Winter choy. This is what we're going to plant. Mizuna. 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 Mm -hmm. oh. What does this say? So I have this stub over here. And uh, I have already put the pots in it that I'm going to be using to plant uh, the seeds in. And I filled some of them with soil, but I ran out of soil at the time I was filling them. And some of them are not filled yet. So I have some soil with me over here. And if it's too dry, I have something to mix it in with some water because uh, last time I used this soil, it was too dry. And I do have holes for the water to come in also. Can I? All right, one second, sweetie. These are the pots that I'm using to plant the seeds in. They're about three, three and a half inches big. Inches, inches. Mm -hmm. And inches. they should be enough for the plants to grow in. Uh, and um, 
be ready to be transplanted into the soil. Oh, whoa, whoa. no, let's leave these here. We don't want to make a mess, all right? So now let's go ahead and fill these pots with some soil. All right, it's not super dry. I'm not going to mix it because uh, I don't want to... I don't want to deal with that. Can I, can I Yeah, it's a little bit moist, so I'm not going to worry about can it. Can I? Has some moisture. Can I mama? Yes, baby. Can you feel it? Yeah. All right. So let's go ahead and fill these pots with some soil. Okay. Is this a lot of soil? Well, let's keep it in the bag, okay? Okay. All right. Yeah. So this is how we fill it, sweetie. Put the pot in here. How much am I? And yeah, let me show you first, okay? Put the pot in here and you just fill it. Okay. Okay. I'll give you one. Okay. I will. Ooh, don't knock the other one over. Careful. Um. Mm -hmm. Okay. So. You gotta use your hands, sweetie, so that the pot doesn't break. Okay. Okay. Like Is that a lot? You have to fill it all the way to the top. Bring your hands in the pot and now uh, this over here. All done. Mm -hmm. Here, can I? Yep. All the way to the top? Mm -hmm. Okay. Is this all the way to the top? Is this all the way to the top? Let's see. Let me see. Let me see. Yep. That's good. Okay. Can I tell them I have to go party? <laughs> okay. I have to go party. <laughs> so what I'm going to be planting for sure are all the cabbages and the May Queen lettuce. Um, I might, if I have more space, I might plant the romaine lettuce. Oh yes, and the Brussels sprout, of course and also the cilantro and maybe maybe kale um if i have the space we'll see what's going to happen i don't think i can plant all the stuff over here actually oh forgot about the bok choy too so uh, i think i should be able to fit all these in here so let's go ahead and start planting oh before i get to before i get to planting me out of my chair before I get to planting over here oh, as I mentioned earlier I kind of uh, can tell how many plants of that specific variety I'm going to need so over hold on of the premium late Dutch cabbage I am going to be planting one two three I'm going to be planting four she kicked me out. <laughs> so um, over here I kind of have dots to sort of represent how many of each of these I'm going to be planting. So that's just going to give me an idea. I might plant more than one seed in the, uh, in the pots and then I can separate them when it's time for planting. That's probably what I'm going to do. I'll plant either two or three in each, <laughs> in each cell. So let's go ahead and get to planting. <laughs> what are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing to me? <laughs> Filming this video is supposed to take like half an hour probably to 40 minutes. It's taking me hours and I was planning on filming another video and I really have to do that one. We'll see what I can do. Nap time is coming soon. Alright, so all the seeds that I'm going to be planting right now are uh, need a to be need to be planted at a quarter inch depth. So that's what we're going to be doing. I'm going to be putting the holes away from each other, uh, kind of one in the middle and maybe like two in the corners, and I'll plant three seeds in each. 
and uh, this way in case if a seed doesn't make it or whatever and if I have extra I can plant them somewhere else um, and I'm not going to be wasting anything and if I don't have a space to plant them I can give them to someone that needs them but I'm sure I'll have plenty of spaces to plant them uh -oh, I spilled. we got an issue here nope this is why mama told you not to touch them all right, leave them alone right now. I don't want to do it. Can I? Okay. Can me? No, 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 not this way. Please wait. Hold on, you can help me. Can you skin me? Go ahead. Wait a minute. <gasps> Pick those on the floor. Pick what? those that fell. What? What fell? The seeds. You dropped some seeds. What? Okay. So so I'm going to poke a hole in the center like I said and on the sides so like that and I'm going to do that to all of them because all the seeds are going to be planted pretty much at the same depth plants of this but because I don't know if all the seeds are going to germinate I'm going to plant two cells oh, great I have seeds that fell and I don't know where they are that I planted aside. With the Brunswick cabbage I need four of these. So again I'm going to plant two cells. Oh I totally forgot. I need to put plant tags because I'm not going to know what I planted and what so I need to go get grab my plant tags and label each of these cells. So I'm going to create the tags for all the cabbage because I know I'm going to be planting these in there and then I will uh, plant them. I wrote the tags and I put them in here because I wanted to see how much I'm going to be planting of each thing. And what I ended up with is two cells of each of the t different varieties of cabbages. So each variety has two cells. And then, uh, so I'm planting all the different varieties of cabbages that I showed you. And I'm also going to be planting four cells of each of the varieties of cilantro the May Queen lettuce, the Paris Island Cos Romaine lettuce, and the parsley. So these, each of them will have four cells. And the parsley, I have a full bed that's just going to be parsley. I'm not going to be starting this from seed over here. I'm going to be direct sowing that bed. But the reason why I'm starting the parsley, this parsley right, uh, right here, is because I'm going to be planting some of this parsley around my cabbages to hopefully repel some of the insects because of the scent of the parsley. We'll see if that works or not. If it doesn't work, I'll have to spray with some BT. Uh, I prefer not to spray, but we'll see what happens. Uh, so I, the only variety I planted was the, the, the purple cabbage, no, not purple, the, was the, what's it called? The Violaggio the Verona cabbage, that's the only variety that I've planted so far. Now I have to go ahead and get the rest of these th things planted. Oh, cool. Wow, the seed just completely disintegrated. I'm only putting one seed in each of the holes I made. And the ones that I planted, I'm just putting them in a different pile so that I don't get them mixed up. This variety, the Early Jersey cabbage, I actually tried several years ago. I don't even remember when. I think it was the first year we were in this house and it was, it grew really large heads. It was so delicious. It had a, had a sweet flavor. Oh, I love this variety. And I wish I planted some last year, but I didn't.
This year, the goal is to try these different varieties so that I can see which variety I like best. I do like the colored uh, cabbages as well because they kind of provide um, a different flavor and a slightly different texture as well. So who knows, maybe I'll end up planting all of them every year. I don't know. <laughs> to try to preserve cabbage in the freezer and I'm going to try to blanch it and see how that works because I know when you put cabbage in the freezer as it is it's going to continue to decompose because of the living bacteria that's in it but I thought that if I um, if I blanch it first and then put it in the freezer that's going to stop that decomposition process We'll see because blanching, because blanching works on most foods that are not very good at uh, being just uh, flash frozen in the freezer without any blanching or any cooking process prior to putting them into the freezer. Now I don't have a lot of cabbage. I feel like, oops. I feel like I just planted enough maybe to make uh, some sauerkraut and maybe some coleslaw and some just a few um, a few dishes with it and they do last a long time outside of the fridge if I put them in a cool place. I think these cabbages also are not supposed to ripen all at the same time like the early, early jersey would probably be the earliest to grow because I think that last time I planted it, it had it up in the summer and like around midsummer. So um, we'll see the late flat, flat Dutch cabbage. I'm imagining that is going to be ready around early fall. We'll see. I'm going. To, that's why I'm trying these varieties to see which ones are good for the summer, which ones are good for the winter or the fall so that the fall ones I'd probably plant more of these to in order to store them for long term for the winter uh, because we do use a lot of cabbage and I really love growing organic food and I would rather have all my food be organic and homegrown than buying it from a grocery store uh, because just it's not the same quality at all not the same health benefits or the same flavor you're just getting a million times better quality product this way instead of buying it from the grocery store and that's the reason why I'm doing this. The cilantro are, ver are from 2017 so I'm going to put two seeds in each of the hole in each of the holes that I made just in case if they don't germinate as well as I have expected them to. Now I'm going to cover them with some soil and then I'm going to mist them with my water mister and then I'm going to cover them with this plastic lid and put them outside because they need the cold and uh, well they don't necessarily 
you need the Where? cold right here, sweetie. Where? Right here. They don't necessarily need the cold right now, but that's just going to acclimate them to the weather outside. So when they grow, as I said earlier, I don't have to harden them and they will grow a lot faster than if I were to plant them uh, directly in the soil. So, uh, so I'm, I'm going to do that off camera because as you see, it's a little bit challenging right now. I want to thank you guys for watching and, um, uh, and let me know what are you planting right now. I'll see you again next week. Bye. Oh, Can I? We'll see you again next time. Bye. Can I? Okay. Can I do it again? See you again next time? Okay. Well, go ahead. We'll see you again next time. Bye. Thank mm -hmm. you.